One night, I was reading Goodnight Moon at Bedtime. Show me the thumb up if you've read that book before. And all of a sudden, I noticed something I had never noticed before. There was this little mouse in the corner of one page, and it turns out that little mouse was hiding on lots of pages. I must have read that book ten times before, and I'd never noticed. Sometimes that happens with us in class, too. When we read a book a second or third time, we notice something we had never noticed before. Like, I think we noticed a couple new things when we were rereading parts of Wolves in the Walls. And we definitely noticed a couple things after we reread This Is Not My Hat so many times. Today, readers, I want to teach you that another good habit to have is to reread so that you can see more and more each time. When you reread, you say things like, Oh, interesting, and look, I didn't see that before, and now I know why that happened. New details pop out that help you understand your books in even bigger ways. Let's try with Ollie the Stomper. For example, do you notice anything on this page that you've never noticed before? And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Did you notice all those little animals? I did too. But you know what else I noticed when I read this book again yesterday? I noticed that for the first part of the book, Ollie is following Gossie and Gertie. And then, as soon as Ollie gets a boot from Gossie and a boot from Gertie, Gossie and Gertie start following Ollie. Ollie hops to the barn. Gossie and Gertie follow. Ollie stomps to the piggery. Gossie and Gertie follow. Then, Ollie kicks off his boots. Gossie kicks off her boot. Gertie kicks off her boot. Here's Ollie leading them again. Let's go swimming, Ollie shouts, and they do. I wonder why that happens. If you hadn't thought about that before until this time that we looked at the book, show me with a thumb up. And if you're thinking about why it happens, show me like this. Maybe whisper your idea into your hand. Boots. Maybe the boots are magical. And whoever's wearing the boots is the leader. Hmm. When you go to independent reading today, reread a book that you've already read and see if you notice anything that you didn't notice the first time. If you don't notice anything, try again with a different book. If you finally notice something that you had never noticed before, put a post-it on that page. Now it's time for independent reading. Off you go.